get frogged. Hey everyone, Chris here. Today is the day I've finally introduced something that I've been teasing for a while now. But first, I'll be introducing our Lord and Savior, PCB Way, who are gracious enough to fabricate and assemble the boards that are in front of me here. Now, I use a few different PCB fabricators depending on my specific project needs, but what I like about PCB Way is how they combine an easy ordering process with full service. In the case of these, I simply uploaded my Gerber's component position file and bomb or bill of materials and they took care of the rest. It didn't matter that I neglected to put part numbers for the passives, capacitors, resistors, those things. One of their helpful engineers took my specs, picked out appropriate parts and ran their choices by me prior to assembly. And best of all, they work and look great. They're beautiful. They're also my go-to manufacturer for larger runs of flex PCBs, which always work out great and come with the same quality service. So if you need some PCBs made, 3D prints done, or maybe just a friend, check out PCB Way at the link in the description below. Thanks again to PCB Way. Now on with the video. So before we get into this, I need to provide some context. This, this down here is the stock Game Boy Color DC to DC converter or DC regulator. The purpose of this little dude is to convert the unregulated voltage from your batteries, which can fluctuate depending on system load, battery health, etc., into the regulated or stable voltage that the system needs to operate. So the main output on this is a regulated 5 volts, which is used to power the CPU, cartridges, etc. It also outputs unregulated negative 15 volts and 13.6 volts which are used to power the stock screen but we're not concerned with those right now so what's wrong with it to be perfectly honest not much unless your stock regulator is dead kaput gonzo or you want to use a battery setup that exceeds the voltage range it's uh, designed to accommodate using a lipo for example a lithium polymer battery it should work perfectly fine in most cases, even with fancy backlit screens that everyone you know, loves adding to their Game Boy Colors these days. But if you need a replacement, enter the Frogulator. Dun, 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 dun. And I have an example right here of what it looks like outside of the Game Boy. Now this little buddy is a drop-in replacement for the stock DC regulator when paired with a modern IPS screen kit. For example, the laminated Q5V2 from Funny Playing, my favorite screen kit right now. Installation is pretty easy as long as you have the right tools. You will need a soldering iron, some solder, and a solder pump. I find these manual pumps with silicone tips perfectly capable of doing this job. To install, simply desolder the seven pins for the regulators using your pump. Carefully pull it out of the board. Place the frogulator and all of its immense power where the original regulator was. Solder it into place. And you're done! Now to get this out of the way at the beginning, the Frogulator only works with modern backlit screen kits because it doesn't provide the appropriate voltages that the OEM screens require. What it does do is provide the regulated 5 volt output that's needed to power the rest of the system, including your fancy backlit screens. Now, less scrupulous folks might focus on the replacement regulators providing quote unquote clean power with all kinds of benefits from cleaned up audio to an improved love life. Now, at least some of that may be true, 
the frogulator included, given the more modern regulation circuitry in use here, the switching frequency is higher for example, but realistically you're probably just not going to notice. And let's be real, I just wanted an excuse to put another frog in my Game Boy. Drop a comment below if frogs are the best, otherwise get out of here. Now one clear benefit over the stock regulator is the inclusion of a two-stage battery indicator, much like the one that I've already discussed in this video here. When your batteries are good, he'll give you a chill look with his green eyes. But when the batteries are near death, he enters Angie mode, letting you know it's time to save your progress. Additionally, it works just as well in the Game Boy Pocket, serving as a great replacement for that system's regulator, again when used with a backlit screen. For some direct comparisons to stock, the Frogulator is more efficient in some cases. Specifically, we see a decrease in current of up to 8% relative to stock with the on-screen display kit, a popular choice for pocket color setups, and the Funny Playing V2 kit when not wired directly to VCC. The latter is something that's possible on versions 2.6 and up of the Funny Playing ribbon cable. In comparison, there is a small decrease in efficiency with that same Funny Playing kit when wired to VCC via the power pad on the ribbon, which gets you some extra screen brightness. This drop is likely due to the screen kit taking over DC regulation from the system regulator for the screen voltages, thereby dropping the TPS61202 chip used by the frogulator out of its ideal output current zone. So choose the regulator that's right for your setup. Now is a great time to segue to competitors, and there are several of them. Some not worth discussing, yet, and some which are, like the Game Boy Pocket Power by Marshall H. The GBPP, as it's often known, is based on the same voltage regulation IC used in the Frogulator, so in theory you get similar efficiency. Additionally, it contains a LiPo charging circuit, so if that's your jam, it's an excellent alternative to the Frogulator. To do the same with the Frogulator, you'd need to add a separate battery charging circuit. But it's often about trade-offs, and unlike the Frogulator, the GBPP doesn't include a battery indicator. So it's really up to you which feature set has more value and make the best decision for yourself. Now you might be wondering, Chris, how can I imprison a frog in my own Game Boy and harvest his cosmic energy? And the answer is... Soon! I'll be doing shadow drops in different uh, PCB colors on my Etsy shop, and at the same time make it available as a shared project on PCBWay if you want to build your own. Keep an eye on my Instagram page for info on that, and be sure to like and subscribe so you can keep tabs on my descent into madness. Catch you later.